Well boys, um, we are continuing on the natural shelter series and um, today we're going to build the lean-to shelter. There are many ways to build this shelter, some more complicated than others and some will keep you more warm than others. Um, the one I'm going to build is going to be very simple. Um, it's going to allow me to sleep on the ground, not a raised bread, uh, bed. Um, and if you check out the God's One Marine, he has actually built one out of bamboo. So try. I'll uh, put a link in the description or here in the video uh, so you can check that out, it's really cool. So the first thing I've done is I've cleared the ground and this is very important. Obviously if we've got any animals or critters, insects down there, we don't want them to wake us up in the middle of the night. So by clearing away the ground, we are minimizing any risk of getting bit in our butt. Also, we're going to have a fireplace here, so that's another reason why we have to clear the ground, of course. Also, try to site this shelter, we have two good strong trees, um, like here and here. One of these two, anyway. Next thing we do is we hang our equipment up. Okay, so now that we've chosen our area and cleared the ground, we need to get a ridge pole. Now you could use your axe for this. I'm just going to use my folding saw. Uh, actually, I had a question um, on one of my videos what this folding saw is. This is just a cheapo folding saw from a local warehouse. Um, they have all kinds of cheap bushcraft items like axes and sleeping bags and all those kind of things and also hunting knives. Um, and I just picked this up for um, 70 Danish crowns and I'll put on the video how much that is in dollars and pounds and so on. Now the ridge pole, I'm just going to attach with a few cable ties, or strip, zip ties, um, as some people call it. So, I've added a lot of sticks to the structure. 
structure. We're gonna need some here at the sides to keep all the wind out. We're gonna build a fireplace in front of it. We're gonna put spruce boughs on top of these, like I always do, and then debris. So hang tight. So we're starting to get some debris on top. Uh, of course the steep angle here will ensure that the rain will come off right down the back here. Pretty good. Turned out pretty good, I think. It's a pretty good shelter. This should keep me warm. Um, but uh, if you want to use this as a winter shelter, uh, you'd want to provide some kind of insulation, of course, like uh, spruce boughs or leaves. Um, it's pretty sturdy. It doesn't move around too much. Uh, I'm gonna start a fire now, so hang tight. So, the lean-to shelter got done. Um, right now, the natural shelter series is actually done. Um, unless someone have any ideas for some shelters they want me to build, 
the series is now done. But if anyone comes up with a new shelter, uh, I'll build it. I can assure you that. This uh, lean-to shelter didn't take too long. One hour, I think. Um, I could have rushed it even more. I could have built it lower, I could have built it higher, I could have built it with a raised bed. But I didn't choose to do so. I chose to build it this way. I've made myself some coffee, some noodles on the fire, or the um, coals, I should say. Thanks for watching. Remember to comment, like and subscribe. See ya.